Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today Crytek just made a number of assets available for free for CryEngine developers, specifically their Egyptian level assets from the game uh, Rise Son of Rome. It was released a couple years ago, definitely a AAA quality game, and we're going to take a look at what those assets are. Now first off, this is available completely for free, but there are some caveats. We'll get back to that in a second. First I'm going to show off the uh, shiny lovely graphics, and then we'll jump back into the details of it, and we'll look at how to actually import these objects into your game world if you happen to be a CryEngine developer. So here we are. These are the assets available. This is the sample level you can open up and record. Here you see a number of different assets. And I'm just going to fly around the world for a minute so you get an idea of exactly what we're dealing with. But let's just zoom in and look at some of the detail here. So really high quality resolution textures, uh, normal maps going on here. And as you can see, a very Egyptian theme going on. But there is a ton of detail in these assets. They're very clean. They're very nice. Now, obviously, they're also very useful only if you're doing a uh, Egyptian-style level in your game. But, uh, again, it's cool to have this kind of stuff available. And it is now officially available. So that is the uh, a quick look at what the assets are. Now, let's actually take a look at how uh, you get them and details such as that. So in order to do that, first off, it's kind of a two-tiered process. First, you got to go to CryEngine's Marketplace, available right here. Um, I'll throw the link to this actual asset here. Once you've got it, you basically have to first buy it. So you need to sign up with CryEngine, which you've already had to do to download the engine in the first place. So it's no big deal. You don't need to give them a credit card or anything like that. But you go through the process of buying it via the Marketplace. And then once you've done that, you then go into the CryEngine Launcher, this guy right here, the same thing you use to make uh, your projects, etc. Head on into the library tab, my assets, and it'll show up there once you've purchased it. Click the download link like so. Now this will give you and have downloaded the assets. Once you're ready to get them, basically just grab them, go reveal and explorer. It will show you the folder right there. Just grab that folder like this. And then what you want to do is just basically go to your CryEngine game. So you can go to your assets folder right there. And then once again, say open in explorer. Uh, you're going to want to drop to the My Projects folder and then paste so that the Assets folder gets merged in with your existing Assets folder like so. And then you have all of the models, the textures, etc. available to you. So see, if we come down here to the Asset Browser, like this, you see you've got a game level, or Rise Egypt, that you can um, show the actual, uh, what we were just looking at right there. Uh, there's a bunch of objects available. So like here you see uh, pillars, uh, statues, walls, buildings, etc. Um, so pretty really um, easy to get up and going. Now it does take forever to actually import them and to create the new textures, but uh, pretty simple overall. Now one thing that I'm always going to be asked with this kind of stuff is what can I do with this? Well, key thing is the licensing is under the CryEngine Limited License Agreement. This is the same license you use for uh, CryEngine itself. And it's not specific on how assets work, but people are going to wonder, can I use this in another game engine? And I think this line right here basically says no. You can use these assets with CryEngine and CryEngine only. So it says CryEngine with code from other game engine providers. Um, now it doesn't specifically get into assets on that particular example. And I am not a lawyer and I'm not going to go through the entirety of this uh, actual license, but I will link it down below. So do be aware, these are not just models you can use in any game engine. This is for CryEngine engine developers only. Uh, still a really cool move. Uh, once again, I will link uh, this here, the assets and the license all down below. So if you want some more details, they will be available to you. But if you're a CryEngine developer, there's some new toys to play around with. If you're not, well, ignore this. Or maybe it's a good time to check out CryEngine. It's uh, really improved a lot. And I'm actually going to be doing a video about it shortly. All right. So that is it. Some brand new assets available. I love how game developer or game engine makers keep giving us these high quality packs for us to play with. And now again, obviously, you're going to see this in some asset flips, etc. going forward. So there is a downside, but the upside's definitely outweigh the downsides on this one. Let me know what you think. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.